Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I thought I'd show you something interesting. It's a boost converter or a boost module or a step up module. And what this does is it gets a voltage and basically it steps it up. Um, so say you had a 6 volt power source and you needed 12 volts to power something, this can do that for you. And um, not only that, it's surprisingly efficient too. So I thought this was an excellent module and I'm going to um, show you how to use it. It's very simple. Okay, so you can see here before we start, the name of the chip used is XL Semi XL6009E. And this is a cheap module too. I'll show you where you can get it later. So um, you can see the chip, um, some capacitors, two capacitors, a potentiometer and an inductor. And it looks like there's a shock key diode over here as well. And um, the way it works is that you get the input voltage, basically you connect the right side as you can see there to a battery, and the left side goes to the output of course, and the potentiometer tunes the output voltage. And I'm going to show you this now. So this thing's particularly useful. I mean, let's say I had a battery bank, let's move this out of the way for a second, a battery bank like this. And these are lithium cells, 18650 cells, and a nominal voltage is 3.6 volts each. Um, so that's roughly 12.8 volts or so, you know, probably 11, 12 volts. So actually, the first thing I'll do is measure this voltage so I can show you. Just get the camera out of the way for a second. So, bring my voltmeter in into the scene and let's see it will probably be about 12 or 11 volts and it is 11.3 volts okay so we've got an 11.3 volt battery there I'll just move that out of the way for a second and We've got a device which is, this is actually around about 30 volts. That's how much it needs to be powered, around 30 volts. This is actually a 50 watt LED. Anyway, just zoom back out again. So, I'm going to attempt to power a 30 volt LED with an 11 volt battery pack. Now, this is where the magic comes in. So, I'll, um, I'm going to get the little module and I'm going to connect the in minus to the battery banks ground or minus wire connect that up there and that's done I get the positive and connect the positive to the in positive and that's also done now you see the potentiometer that is where we set the voltage so I've got to get my voltmeter and just calibrate this properly to what I want it to be. I'll just make sure that's... yeah. Okay, so get my voltmeter again. Get this LED off the scene, and the voltmeter back in the scene. And then output plus to the plus and output negative to the negative or ground. And you can see it's 27.5 volts. So I'll just see if I can get that up or down to show you. Now, if you just watch the voltmeter, you can see that the well, the number, the voltage should be going down. Yeah, there you go. You can see it's going down now. That's quite powerful. Remember that the source is 11 volts, and I'm fiddling the out, fiddling with the output voltage. Anyway, I need to get this up to around about 30 volts. This unit can apparently go up to 36 volts, depending on the the um, the battery 27.6 volts is this is the maximum for this and that's because the voltage source is only 11 volts there are limits but anyway if I had uh, another battery or another cell in there I could probably get up to 36 volts but you know whatever so I've got 11 volt source and I'm going to output 27.6 volts so far so good so now I'll disconnect the voltmeter and very simply, put the LED back in the scene, and I should now be able to power this 30 volt 
LED with 27.6 volts which is being provided by an 11 volt battery pack. So let's see what happens. Okay, make sure the polarity is right, I'm not 100% actually but yeah there you go. And it works. How cool is that? So, um, so there we go. Now, so just to um, reiterate, I've got an 11 volt battery pack, a 30 volt LED, and this little module here is doing all the conversion for me, and it's also very efficient. I mean, the closer the input and the output are, the more efficient it is. But it's still quite efficient for what it is, regardless of the voltage, or at least that's what I've found anyway. So there we go, that's how to get a low voltage and convert it, if you like, into a bigger voltage. Just simply using one of these. Really easy to use too. Okay, so there is one thing I need to mention um, before people start thinking this is an incredible product or incredible module. Of course, higher voltage just doesn't come from anywhere. And um, there is a bit of a price to pay. So the way to explain this is that if this LED here is 30 volts and say I'm bringing one amp through, 30 volts at one amp, that's 30 watts. Well, 30 watts of energy has to flow through here and it of course has to flow through the cells. And the implications of that are that if this is 30 volts, then we know that one amp is flowing through that wire. We know that because of Ohm's law. So 30 volts, 1 amp. And these wires could deal with 1 amp. But when it comes over here, the power is completely different. If this is, say, 10 volts here, then how many amps are flowing through it? Well, the answer to that is 3 amps. So we'd have 12, oh, sorry, 10 volts, 3 amps here. And here we'd have 30 volts, 1 amp. And the implications of that are that you need to be wary of how much amperage is flowing through your circuit on this side. And it may be that you need thicker wires here and thinner wires here. Um, and not only that, you've got to check out the C rating of your cells. So for me, um, in the example that I've just shown you, there would be around about, or potentially, three amps uh, flowing through these cables. And that is quite a lot, really. Um, and also three amps running through these cells. The C rating of these cells is around about two amps. So I've actually, because they're in series, I've actually exceeded that. So if I was to let this thing run for a while, which I wouldn't because it's just a demonstration, these cells will probably get hot. Um, yeah, so just to let you know, um, you do need to be careful when you use these things.